Starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, great. Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. You check the roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You'll soon be off the case. No. Pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. In? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Model. model GB300. 
Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a Deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is Deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. I tried to stop it, but I was too late.
I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep, and tomorrow you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while.
didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let's let them be. You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine.
can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I oh. No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. There is widespread shock following the android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. Rose gets back soon. Carol, there's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. The police. It's the police. What are we going to do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide... upstairs. Come on, Alice. Do you want to get us all arrested? Do you want to see your mother in prison? Then do what I say.
evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. Thanks. Your daughter seems to have woken up. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. <laughs> 